Well, they say opposites attract today, they clash. One team, the freest scoring side in the division, the other, the best defensive team in the league. Stay with us, we'll have all the action for you live right here on EA TV. Hello everyone, this is the city where football passion truly rules the roost. We're in Gelsenkirchen at the Arena auf Schalke. My name is Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry, and sitting next to me, ready to give you all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And we have live action from the Bundesliga coming right up. It's Schalke facing Bayer Leverkusen. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I've played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. And here's the starting 11 for Schalke. And a look at the 11 for Leverkusen. Lukas Radetzky is the goalkeeper. Jonathan Tarr plays with Yerai in central defence. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. It's a game that should offer plenty, and Bayer Leverkusen start it. Moussa Diaby, possession one. Tete. Making progress. Cross could be useful. Well, full marks to him for that header, but the goalkeeper did his job. Well, this was always going to be an intriguing contest. The number one attack against the tightest defence. How do you see it going, Stuart? Well, Derek, I'm excited by this one. I'm now, hold on, Stuart. They're in here. And the post denied him. Oh, stellar defensive work to get back and win possession. Granit Xhaka. On to Avila. So, for Schalke, it really was a fine performance and a magnificent result in the last game against Bayern. How might... It's got to be! And a goal to give them the lead! They have their reward! Well, this is a very tidy finish, as you can see. He's under so much pressure, but his strength just allows him to hit through the ball cleanly. It's an excellent goal. Away again here, 1 0 the score. Nabi Keita, Alej Garcia, intercepting it intelligently. Diaby, oh, he looks threatening. Chance. In it goes! Two goals in rapid fire fashion and looking very comfortable here. 
Well, it's a very simple finish in the end, but his movement was really good. He just found himself a bit of space in the box when it mattered most. Nil here, and the ball is moving again. Alvi Jan. Here's Keita. This is looking threatening. Well, Leverkusen, as you can see, have enjoyed so much possession. And as a... Oh! He didn't miss by very much. Yeah, he adjusted his body so well there. It's a great piece of skill, and it probably deserved the goal. Martinez could pull one back here. And he does. He's thrown his team a lifeline. The belief is back. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. He skips past his marker, and that gives him the space to get his shot away. Excellent stuff from him. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the scoreline. Ezekiel Avila and given away by Schalke there will be one minute added on at the end Hudson Odoi and the referee blows the whistle thus bringing to an end the first half here in Gelsenkirchen So back underway here into the second half. Alvi Jan. Vega. On the ball, Alvi Jan. He's got the right idea with that pass. And the attack carried promise, but petered out. That'll be a Leverkusen ball. Xhaka. Goalkeeper getting in the way. Superb save. And there's the delivery. And no problems whatsoever for the goalkeeper. Opportunity in the wide area. This could level it. Oh, but the keeper with an important save. How important is that? Well, he should score from there. That's a wasted opportunity. He should beat the keeper from that sort of distance. And a timely intervention. Diaby Musa Diaby Di Lorenzo Well that's how to do it inside your own penalty area Well on the cusp of full time the home side keep plugging away but find themselves on the wrong end of the scoreline Stuart, your thoughts on what you've seen Well it's been a tight match but they... Xhaka! And there it is! But hang on, the flag has gone up, and it's not going to count. Well, it was a close call, but he is just offside. Good finish, mind you. Antuna. And he's won the ball. Andri. And we are going to have two additional minutes. Well, he's got to be disappointed with that pass. Superb effort to keep it in. Oh. 
And there it is, the final whistle. Not what the home fans were hoping for before a ball was kicked today. Defeat for them. Well, Derek, it was a hard-fought contest, which neither side completely dominated, but the result will certainly hurt them. They need to bounce back next time out. Well, this is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to. A lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension-packed occasion. We have all the action for you live on EA TV. And everyone is ready to go here in Berlin at the Olympiastadion. I'm Derek Ray, ready to bring you match commentary. And alongside me is Stuart Robson. And this is it, the final weekend of the Bundesliga season. It is Hertha Berlin up against Schalke. Well, what a season it's been, Derek. We've seen everything. Drama at both ends of the table, some spectacular goals and plenty of entertainment. The players, of course, will be looking forward to a break now, but hopefully not before they give us a good game today. And here's the lineup for Hertha. Well, it'll be interesting to see how the wingers play today. Will they stay high and wide? Will they come in field and support the centre forward? And how deep will they come out of possession? They're going to be key to this formation. And here's the starting 11 for Schalke. And this confrontation is underway. The referee's letting it go as they keep the ball. Now he must favour the cross. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Might be able to get in behind the defence. Opportunity here. Oh, that's really high-class goalkeeping. But hang on. Offside is the decision here. Well, as we feast our eyes on the table, we can confirm that they will be playing Champions League football. Well, look out, Derek. Chance here. Oh, fine stop. Well, they won't get too many opportunities today, so they have to capitalise from set pieces like this. And a short corner here. Giving it a try. No problems for the keeper. Sky's ball, and he might be in here. A lovely attempt. Well, a lovely chip, and it had a chance. Well, it's a really good effort, but he just can't get it underneath the crossbar. Terrific pass. 
Martinez, and a goal to open the scoring. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, here it is again, and the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against, but the keeper should do better at his near post. That's gone in far too easily. That's not good goalkeeping. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1 0. And unable to pick out a teammate. And that'll be a throw. Well, as the stats confirm, Schalke have struggled to get control of the ball so far, but their attacking play has been really incisive. It's been a really good display from them so far. Keita! And it goes! Two goals in rapid fire fashion and looking very comfortable here. Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect, and the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. So underway again, and a 2-0 advantage here. And I'm hearing in my ear there's been a goal at the Volkswagen Arena. Details from Alex Scott. Yes, it's a goal for Borussia Dortmund. It was an early cross which found him in acres of space and it was a beautiful headed finish. They've scored the opener here with 32 minutes played. Thank you, Alex. Takes the shot. Well, he's missed the chance and the keeper didn't have to do very much. Dennis Pryat. And now passing it through. And oh, it's in. We cannot declare this contest over. They still believe. Well, here's the replay, and he shows great awareness to play this through ball. And he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. And the referee blows the whistle. That's going to be all for the first 45 here in Charlottenburg. Well, nothing wrong at all with what Josef Martinez offered in the first half. Sum up his performance for us. Well, I really liked his first half display. He was certainly the most influential player on the field. And I'm expecting more of the same in the second 45 minutes. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. Mark Oliver Kemp. Dennis Pryat. Alex Scott is at the ready with an update. Something has changed at the Red Bull Arena, but exactly what? It's another goal for Leipzig. They've pulled ahead by two with 49 minutes played. Alex keeping us right up to date. Free kick awarded then by the referee. Well, it's where every German team wants to be at the end of a football season. Berlin, the Olympiastadion for the DFB Pokal final. You'll see it live with us on EA TV. It's Schalke facing Bayern. Well, that's going to be a great game in front of a packed house in the capital. I'm looking forward to a match full of quality. Now, looking dangerous here. Well, he would have been disappointed had he spilled that one. Goalkeeper. Corner kick played in. 
Now the attack fizzled out. Good work to win it back high up the pitch. He's got to score! Oh, it's in! A two-goal cushion now, and the lead fully merited. Well, here you can see it again. Good run, great strength, and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top-class goal. So back underway at 3-1. Kenny promising attack this but nothing comes of it good defending it was it's a short one up the corner right on the back of the last one In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Will he finish? And rattling the post. Well, they can keep possession of it now. Perfect challenge. Well, they won't come much closer than that. It's a matter of inches from being a really good goal. Larson. Well, that pass easy on the eye. Not much defensive cover there on the flank. But they dealt with the threat posed. There's a slide draw pass. And there it is. All in the melting pot now. And what a finale we could have in store for us. Well, here's the replay. And sometimes when you've been pressed high up the field, you have to go that little bit longer and not play out through the thirds. And that's what they tried to do here. They had their pocket picked and suddenly they find the ball in the back of the net. Well, back underway and a glut of goals here. 3-2. Schalke will get the throw in so two minutes of stoppage time to be added on tremendous intuition to win it back well, with tackling like that the onus is on the referee to take action potentially and the yellow card for that Stewart and he's going to have to be careful now that was a silly challenge And there it is, the full-time whistle here, and it's a victory for the visitors. Yes, Derek, there wasn't much in it, to be honest. Really competitive game with chances at both ends, but they probably just about edged it overall and deserve the result in the end. Well, Josef Martinez can be a real handful for opponents and certainly was at times today. They struggled to contain him, Stuart. Well, that performance sums him up, really. You're never disappointed with what he gives you. Such a good player. A wonderful setting, the Olympiastadion here in Berlin. And thousands of fans have poured into the capital for what promises to be an absolutely riveting DFB Pokal final. It is Schalke, they face Bayern Munich, and it's live next on EA TV.
Well, at this time of year here in Germany, it always comes down to this. Welcome to the Berliner Olympiastadion. My name is Derek Ray. I'm joined in the commentary box by Stuart Robson. And we're privileged to be here to bring you action from the DFB Pokal final. It's Schalke up against Bayern Munich. While the Bundesliga is a top quality league, the German Cup final is a great occasion. We've got a full house here in Berlin, two very good teams, and a chance for these players to write their names in history. It should be an absolute cracker, Derek. And here's the starting 11 for Schalke. And here's how Bayern will line up. Manuel Neuer gets the nod in goal. Dayo Upamecano plays with Matthijs de Ligt in central defence. And the striker of choice today is Gerard Moreno. Jamal Musiala. Sadio Mane now. Musiala. Moving the ball forward with purpose. And given away by Schalke. Kimmich. Coman. And close but offside nonetheless. But on the way into the game, so many people were asking us about Sadio Mane. Oh, what a chance this is, Derek. Pivotal moment defensively. Gerard Moreno. Mane. And a chance to whip it in here. Well, he knew he had to get to the ball, and he did. Mane must score and the keeper more than equal to the task He's using his body to good effect it's a short one promising sequence getting in there to intercept Well, let's take another look, and it's not good enough defensively. They're slow to react, don't get tight enough, and don't deal with the situation. And there's the outcome. Underway, they are again, and it's Bayern with the lead Moreno very quick thinking there under real pressure defensively will they pay the price and a goal to increase the lead in this final will they be stopped now
Well, here's the replay, and he's got to clear his lines there. He doesn't do that. He has his pocket picked, and he's been rightly punished. Poor defending. Two nil now, and back on the way. Lucas. Mane. Really good challenge. Plenty of support here. Oxley Chamberlain. He's got to score! A goal! As they cut it to their advantage! Still plenty of life in this match! Well, as you can see, he doesn't mess about here, does he? He's strong, well-balanced and skillful. That's a top-class finish. So back underway at 2-1. Tight contest here. Marcel Zabitza. Here's Mount. Jamal Musiala. And back with Moreno. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Moreno. Too much pace on that particular pass. Bad challenge. And now it's up to the referee in terms of what to do next. And a yellow card for that, Stewart. And he's going to have to be careful now. That was a silly challenge. Aim towards Lucas. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. He's given it straight to the opposition. Plenty of forward momentum here. But can they produce... Mount good work from Bayern to make sure possession changed hands can they convert great defending here well that is how to nullify the opposition this might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity well, so many possibilities but it didn't happen for them Mount real chance Oh, it looked as though he might be through. Not so. Martinez. Sadio Mane now. Coman. Oh, he's through here. Oh, really good reflexes and danger averted. Good refereeing, waiting for a natural break before administering the caution. The corner from Kimmich. Well, a bit short with the clearance. Oh, good save. Corner once more. Taking care of business defensively here. Alex Garcia. Oh, great vision. And he's in the clear. And pushed away to safety. Man. And here's Gerard Moreno. Opportunity, Moreno! And the keeper there to deal with it. In a short corner, let's see. Mount. On to Zavica. Can he finish? Oh, dealt with by the goalkeeper. Half time then, that will do it for the first half here at the Berliner Olympiastadion.
Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. Prince. Coman. And just as well from the defensive point of view that he was able to make that interception. Well, he didn't miss by all that much. Well, he struck it quite nicely, but the keeper was always in control of the situation. He knew that was going wide. Nabi Keita. And a fine tackle. Mane. Insufficient guile on the crossing front, you've got to say. Vega. And a quick reminder, we have plenty of live football in store for you right here on EA TV. That should be a tasty encounter. Plenty of quality in those two sides. Certainly one to oh, enjoy. Oh, they could finish here, Stuart. Oh, keeper dealt with it. So the corner played into the box. And still dangerous. Just the challenge that was required. Might be a chance here. Oh, he squandered the chance, and he knows it. Well, it wouldn't have counted anyway. He was offside, but nonetheless, that was a poor attempt. Vega. This could square the game. Oh, a goal! He's equalised! Was he made from moments like this? On an occasion like this? Well, here we can see just how good this goal is. It has everything. Skill, pace and power. There was no stopping him there. So underway again at 2 all, And into the last 30 minutes now. Upa Meccano. Gerard Moreno. Good use of the ball, but can they trouble the defence? Can he put them in front? Oh, it's a goal! And that gives them the advantage. Will they be able to keep it? Well, here you can see what a good goal this is. He hits it so cleanly, and the keeper has no chance. That's a great strike. Well, neutrals are getting their money's worth. 3-2 in this match. And the referee spotted the foul, but has played advantage. A sloppy pass. Mount. Well, this could cause problems for the defenders. Credit to them for winning back possession. And threading it forward. He's got to score! They just couldn't stay in front. And now this match is all square. Here it is again, and the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against, and the finish is clinical. He just makes it look so easy, doesn't he? Well, another equaliser. What a topsy-turvy game this has been. Match. Vega. Well, putting 
opening it wide from there. A pity, really. It's a substitution for Bayern. Not to be advised, giving the ball away there. My goodness, that save. Fully stretched he was. One for his own highlights reel. An opportunity to forge ahead from this corner situation. And nothing positive comes of it, unfortunately. We're making high pressing work for them here. And in! Oh, yes! Exactly what they were hoping to produce. They've delivered the goal. Well, here you can see it again. It's a superb cross, just asking for someone to go and meet it. And from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Mane. And let's see what attacking position. It's not too late for them. Sadio Mane's cross. Not to be this time. Ten minutes to go. Uriel Antuna. Now De Ligt. Upa Makano. Marcel Zabitza. Look at they look as though they want to make this move count. Coman. And ready for it is Leroy Zane. Can they cover up? Mane. This could be the equaliser. But no, when your goalkeeper comes up with a save like that late in the game, you have cause to be thankful. Well, that could be a key moment. They have to take those sort of chances. They won't get too many more, but let's credit the goalkeeper. And played in by Kimmy. And across the byline, a goal kick as a result. El Sharawi. And the pass could do damage. He's in position. A goal! Here it is again. The through ball is absolutely imperfect. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. On the scoreline, we see all that often. 5-3. The referee's verdict is three additional minutes. Moreno bad pass Jordan Larson and here's Gerard Moreno excellent vision and still they wait for the chance and there goes the final whistle the cup issue is settled A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught. Memories are being made. Well, just look at those scenes down there, Derek. What a contrast in emotions. Brilliant for the winners, despair for the losers. But overall, the right team won today. Yeah, you can see what it means to this tight-knit team. Real solidarity. Well, this is special for everybody at the club. 
What a great moment for any young player. And this is what you dream about when you start playing football. When you're playing in the playground, you want to win a cup. Brilliant moment. Yes, a special moment in the career of any footballer. And now for the trophy lift itself. The cup winners. Well, you can just see what it means to those players and the manager. That's fantastic stuff. There's always the element of chance in a cup competition. But my goodness, they've taken the rough with the smooth. And now they savour the moment. Full marks to the entire team. And now they get the chance to exhale and enjoy. They've been brilliant in this competition, and so have the fans. They've really got behind their team. They've played a big part in this win. Just look at those faces in the crowd. Great stuff. They're really a match made in heaven between players and fans. And these celebrations are going to continue for quite some time. And now the players get to relax a bit and enjoy having the pictures taken. Well, these photos will be cherished for years to come, won't they? Certainly ones to show the grandchildren. It's delicious.